Okay, we are building rocket motors for a big launch this weekend. It's tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. And I've built some 24 millimeter motors, a 38. And now we're gonna build the 54 in this 54 uh, 1260 case right here. And, uh, or excuse me, 1280 case. And this is a J540 Redline. We've got three grains. 54 millimeter, got a nozzle, we've got the delay, we've got some O-rings, some insulators, this is a liner for the grains, and then we've got our case. So the first thing we need to do is to grease a few parts, the O-rings, the threads on the case, as well as inside the case, and just to facilitate cleanup and make a good seal on there. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Get this all unscrewed here. All right. And I'm just using super lube. So I'm going to grab a little on my finger and we're going to get the O-rings. Now the O-rings do not need to be goopy. They just need to be shiny. So we just rub enough on to make them shiny. Make sure they're wet, but you don't want them goopy. So I just get it on my fingers, kind of massage it in, inside, outside, all around. There's four O-rings. These are all important. This is what keeps the fire on the inside and only on the outside when it belongs and not before so that your rocket can launch and come back to you. All right, we're gonna get some grease on the threads of the case right here that greatly facilitates cleanup and helps to promote a good seal and then if you rub a little grease on the inside of the case that really helps things to slide out when your motor is spent I'm gonna get a little bit of grease inside the forward end where the delay goes. I don't want to get grease in the bottom of that, just along the sides here. Grease on the bottom is not good. There we go. We just wipe off my fingers a little bit and we will proceed. As always, have the instructions handy and refer to them frequently and often to make sure you're doing this right. Let's start with the delay. So this is going to go into a new rocket of mine. It's a Lock Mega Mag, 7.6 inch rocket, weighs 12 pounds. I've done a sim and the sim says that this should be just fine at about nine seconds. And this is a 14 second delay. And these delays are not 100% accurate. It's plus or minus, you know, 20%. So ideally I want to shave five seconds off of there. And I have the... 54 millimeter delay drilling tool. And this works just like the other ones. You uh, got a drill. You got to take your delay right here. Um, you can shave off eight seconds or four seconds. And if you use the washer, that takes off two. So if I take off six seconds, that's going to put me at eight. So I want to take not quite that much. Um, I could just take four and be happy, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take four. That'll put me at 10 seconds, um, and then I might just give it a little touch-up. Again, this is not accurate, so to the best of our abilities. So that's going to go in that end. No washer. And we just start drilling. take a look and we've drilled out a, a nice little hole there now I'm gonna hit it again just want to make sure we got this real good I'd like to get this rocket back in one piece perfect now I'm gonna take just a little bit more so I'm gonna put it on the eight second side and if this washer is two seconds I want to shave off about half of one of those washers so it's like just a couple of turns. That's probably it right there. 
knock that little piece out. And there is my delay. You can see that little dimple in there. That's all it took to shave those few seconds off of there. Then this is going to go into the rocket and hopefully, hopefully go off when we, when we want it to. So let's just verify. Let's just put it back into the, the four second delay. Hit it again. That sinks down all the way. So it's at least four seconds. We'll put it on the eight second side. It doesn't sink down because there's still a little more delay to be drilled. There's probably about three seconds there. So that's about right. And then this delay material is stuff you don't want floating around. So I'm going to make sure I clean up my workplace and dispose of that carefully. Okay, we want to assemble this. We've got a liner. The delay will go into the liner. There's a spacer that goes over the end that we drilled. And then you can see how that protrudes a little bit. This little washer is going to go right over that. And you don't want to get grease on that end where the black powder is going to contact. So just be careful not to do that. And again, we've got the instructions here. Now that we've assembled this unit, we're going to put in that insulator and then put the entire thing into the end here. So we put in the insulator and it goes all the way in. Make sure it's flat. This goes in O-ring side first. Just like that. And we're good. That's done. Now, the next step, according to the instructions, is uh, we are going to install the thin O-ring onto the nozzle. And there's a little groove on there. You don't want to twist it on. Just carefully seat it. Make sure it's on there real nice. It's just a tiny thing, but that's all it takes. Uh, the next step on that is to uh, push the nozzle and the liner o-ring assembly into one end of the liner this is the liner so we just carefully push this helps if you hold it the right way and push this into the liner and i'm checking the o-ring to make sure it is a-okay There we go. Now, you insert the propellant grains into the liner and push the liner assembly into the case. So we put the, the grains in. One, two, three. This is going to go into the case. Just like that. And let me make sure that the ring is okay there. Okay. All right, now you want to insert the forward insulator, which is this. And then one of these O-rings right there. Your delay goes on top. Screw that. Perfect. Now we um, install the aft o ring, which goes right there. And then this end seals the deal. And then all we have to do is our ejection charge and we're ready to go. Now this is going to take a larger than normal ejection charge. This motor comes with a standard, I don't know, 1.5 gram ejection charge, we're using three grams, which I have ground tested this rocket and that's enough to get the heavy nose cone off. So we're gonna make sure we add extra powder to account for that. We will see you at the launch.